Hey, 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 Sparklers, it's Sally here. I'm hiding in the background because this is a pre-recorded session because I'm currently sitting in a dentist chair. But today it is Sparkle Tips Tuesday. We are doing episode number three and we are covering the talk show function in BeLive so that you'll be able to use those awesome frames that you created in Canva and now be able to bring them across and use them in be live in the talk show function. All right, so without any more gas bagging, let's get into today's content. And I can't wait to see the results that you guys share with me. Make sure you share those links so that we can jump into your lives and support you as well. Okay, so on to today's tip on how to set up a B Live broadcast. And I recommend that you use the talk show mode. So when you use the solo, it is just you or interview, it can only be you and one other guest. But the talk show mode, even though you need to pay for B Live, it is actually far, far better because you can bring in up to four people into a live broadcast. Plus, you can also do share screen as well. So let's go now and set up a broadcast. So you click on the start broadcast button and then you click talk show. Then choose where you want to place it, whether it's on your own timeline, a page you manage, a Facebook group, an event, or if you just want to do a test only. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set it up into a Facebook group, which is just a test one. But I recommend that you use it onto your business page because then you can boost it if you need to uh, do Facebook advertising. Also, what you can do is easily share it to other groups and because it's a public place it's very easy for other people to see but still you can go and put it into any of those other places so what I'm going to do now is actually just pop it into my test group that I have available bear with me while it's just searching for all of my groups there we go and I've got a test be live group here I'm just going to post it in there then what you can do is if you have a, make sure you give your live a really good topic so that it is going to look appealing to your audience and that they will want to watch it. And if you've got any other links and information, also put that in there. Then what you want to do is before we go through this section here of scheduling the broadcast come down here to the create your brand now in here you can upload your own logo and if we click on that you will see it appears in the top right hand corner of the screen when you're going live another thing you can also do is choose your branding colors now as you can see here I've got a previously set branding colors because this is my branding but you can come in here and you can choose your own branding colors by sliding it around for the background and then also once you've chosen your background color you can also choose the text color as well so if you've got a different text color you want to use you can do that too now as soon as you click the save branding button here you will see when I go back into the branding uh, oh it usually shows up as a second one but hey it's not showing there but usually it'll come up as a second a little dot here for you uh, so I believe it should happen once you've actually scheduled that broadcast. Next time you come in, it'll show as previously used for you. Now, if you go back to a previous Tips Tuesday, I also showed you how to create your frame. Uh, so you can put your frame in here. And as you see, it appears as... Now, they have some inbuilt frames you can use, but of course, you're going to get creative, right? And you're going to create your own frames and insert them here. Now you will be able to switch them on and off as you like. So let's just choose one of these frames for now and click a save branding. So when you do go live, which I'll be able to show you in a moment, that you will be able to 
uh, turn that frame on and off if you need to. Now, the next thing I recommend that you do is you can go straight to broadcast and it'll start broadcasting as soon as you hit the create broadcast. But to ensure that you get more live viewers, it's much better to do a scheduled broadcast. But the minimum time in advance that you can schedule is 15 minutes. So you can't go live in the next two minutes it does need to be at least a 15 minute buffer between now and the start time if you're going to schedule out the broadcast. Now this will allow you to do a mini chat blast to advertise, especially if it's for a live event in the future, I would highly recommend that you uh, broadcast as a scheduled event just to ensure that you have as many people viewing live as possible. Then another thing you can do also is you can add an image to your live broadcast. So if I come in here and just navigate to where I normally keep all of our live broadcasts and just got to remember where I've put them. Um, mama. They've got to be in here somewhere. Let's just choose some random one. All right, let's just choose this one for now. So if we insert this one here and you have an image, what it'll do is it will actually create a thumbnail for you as well. So it's a really great way for as you can see when I schedule my lives, there is actually a thumbnail that explains what I will be also talking about. So let's just schedule out this broadcast. Let's just say it's for the 17th at 110, that will do. And I'll hit create broadcast. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to navigate across to the BeLive test group that I have. And you'll be able to see here that this BeLive, once it actually goes up, it takes a, a minute or two for it to display. Come on, it would be really good. All right, we'll give it a moment or two for it to load up there. But you'll see here, this little post pops up after you hit the schedule. It just gives you some information about what you can do in, reg in regards to um, sharing your broadcast, how to manage your broadcast and so forth. So you can have a read there. And then you can come in here and when it gets closer to your start time, a little start broadcast button here will be displayed and you'll be able to start broadcasting when this countdown hits zero. So the great thing here now is you'll be able to connect your camera. So if we just connect camera, you'll see that this is me down here and I can send that up to the broadcast and you'll see here, there we go. Hi, that's me up there. All right. And also you'll be able to turn on and off. You can see the frames turning on and off are there for you. And what you can also do is you can show and set up an agenda item. So if, for example, I was going through and say, I was going to do the introduction first. You can add an agenda item and then say I moved on to the content. You would put the content there and then maybe it would be my uh, call to action that I did at the end. So the agenda items, as you add them, you can come in here and show them and you'll see that they come up in your selected branding colors along the bottom there. And then the call to action button, it's slightly different. It's like a little ticker that you would have. So for example, if you had a, you know, a postage or something like that, flat rate postage, Oswide, and you put in the price. Oh, ninety-six dollars. That's a little bit, a little bit steep there, Sally. Ninety-five, and then you could pop that in. And let's say another great call to action might be, um, like, share this live to your profile for a shout out, comment, shared when done. 
All right. So then what you do when you add all of these calls to action and you want to be setting, you can do them while you're live, but you're best to set them up before you go live. And then these turn into little tickers that run along the bottom. Now, these colors that I've selected for this tips training is pretty atrocious. Make sure they're easy on the eye to read. But how much more professional does this look versus the standard way of going live? So, so, so much more professional. So here we go. This is setting up and then setting up, sorry, your uh, tickers and also here. So you can click on these buttons to bring them up and you can click through them as you want to change them. And then also you come down to here this is where you can upload photos that you may want to boost up but another great option is that you can actually choose to share screen so for example if you were running a training and i wanted to say teach show you what i'm doing inside of this program here we're just waiting for that to load so here is a Illustrator, which I'm currently working in at the moment, I could bring it up on the screen and show people Illustrator. And then maybe you want to see something inside of Wondershare. I'm doing a little bit of video editing here. So you can bring up a few things there as well. Also, what you can do down here in this copy link section, you can actually grab this link and you can send it to people to join you during your live. So let me just go to Messenger and let's see if I can get Amanda to jump on in as a guest. I wonder if she's paying attention uh, in the background there or not. And she will join us as a guest and you'll see her popping up inside of the uh, lobby area and then you can bring guests in as well it's pretty awesome and you can also jump between screens by going I just want to see one screen or you just want to see me here I am <laughs> or maybe you you can see here Amanda's jumping on in I've sent her the link and now she's jumping on in eventually we will see her beautiful face pop up here and you can also choose the layout here that you want to see. So it takes a little while for it to load at the other end. But using BeLive, you need to be on your computer to use BeLive. But also you need to be uh, your, your guests that you bring in, they can attend from their phone so they can be on a computer or from their phone oh look there's amanda in the lobby right now see she's waving to us so if we bring her up into the main broadcast you'll be able to hear her speak give it a second here she is hey amanda all right i'm going to turn this there she is so can you hear her talking try again hello how's everyone Yay, there's Amanda. So, and again, you can swap through all the different layouts as well, just like this. Doesn't she look absolutely stunning today? And <laughs> in a beautiful blue. And we can jump across to Amanda or back to me. And again, all these different options. So there's a really quick Tuesday tip for you on how to go live using BeLive. I can't wait to see you all now implementing this into your business. Yes, there is a, an outlay, a bit of a fee to use BeLive in this way, but it is totally, totally worth it. Isn't it, Amanda? Oh, so is. So is. I love it. Yeah. And if you go back to a previous Tips Tuesday, you'll be able to find out how to make these uh, little frames around the outside. All right, guys, that is Tips Tuesday for this week. Let us pop Amanda back into the lobby. And uh, hey, look, let's just do this. Hi. <laughs>
All right, everyone. Hopefully that is totally helpful and never let anyone dull your sparkle. Make sure that you share your Be Live broadcast with us either inside of the Sparkle Suite or inside of the Elites so we can follow all along follow along and see your lives and I can't wait to see you also creating those awesome personalized frames as well. I'll catch you next week for Tips Tuesday. Bye for now.